So this team's talked a little bit about people stepping in as game changers. Obviously, you've seen a little bit more playing time here. I mean, have you accepted that role? And what does it say to the depth of this team that, you know, on any given night, anybody can step in and, and play well? Yeah, we talk a lot about having game change on this team and what it means to be able to, no matter what's happening, just be able to go attack the challenge. And it means a lot because we know that as a team, we have to believe in each other and really support each other. And I think that's something that's really special about this team because it, it's not a selfish team. Everyone's really excited and happy to um, cheer for one another, believe in each other, and that just really helps us be successful overall. How have you embraced this extra playing time? Um, yeah, I think that's just important to take advantage of any opportunity that comes your way. And we always talk about just being ready and believing in yourself. So whenever something like that, an opportunity comes, um, coach always just says to trust your training and you have to trust yourself. And then when your team believes in you too, it definitely helps. What was it like for you to be on that court during that rally, that minute long rally? What was it like for you out, out there? That rally was awesome. It was crazy. It just kept going. And honestly, when we watched it back after, we were like, oh my gosh, I can't believe that happened. And then that happened. And there was just so, it was just so long. And I think it just captures the energy of this team and the fight. And this team is going to do anything to keep the ball from hitting the ground. So that was definitely the longest rally that I've ever been in. And it was a lot of fun. Were you a little bit tired after that? Oh, yeah. The challenge was nice after. <laughs> we were all breathing heavy. I think Coach Cook on Tuesday yesterday threatened to make the team run, run some extra wind sprints because they were so tired. Has he followed through with that yet? No, he has not. We heard that too after, but we're like, hey, if we won all the long rallies. What do you mean? We don't need more. <laughs> the other phrase I think that's been used by players along with game changers is ripping the door off the hinges or something like that. Or I mean, what does that mean and where does that come from? Yeah, we talk about ripping off the hinges and it's just something that our team has talked about and really wanted to focus on this season that whenever an opportunity comes your way that you're ready, you're not going to be timid or back down or shy of anything. You just want to go in, attack it to the best of your ability and rip the hinges off. Did someone come up with that or did you hear that somewhere else? Where did, where did that, that's not a phrase that a lot of people use. Yeah, we came up with it as a team. Okay. Yeah, just we have a lot of sayings that we wanted to focus on this year. We have a new team, it's a new season, and we wanted to focus on some new goals. What are, what are the things you like about being at a school that plays in the Big Ten for volleyball? Um, I think it's so awesome, and I didn't know how great it was going to be until last year, my freshman year, getting to go to all these schools and see all the gyms. and. This is, it's just starting this week and I'm so excited. I can't believe how fast preseason went and playing in the Big Ten just means that there's never a night off. Each game, each competition, every team is just gonna be better and better. So it means that you can't have any nights off in the Big Ten. So we just have to be ready to attack it with our full ab ability every night. What was the best atmosphere you saw last year and any ones on the schedule this year you're looking forward to? Best atmosphere? Well, I think it's hard to beat Devaney personally. <laughs> But I know last year Wisconsin was really loud. Um, I can't remember which other teams were super loud, but I personally don't think you can beat here. Well, like you said, knowing the environment at Devaney, obviously this season you guys get Wisconsin here at the Bob. I mean, mm -hmm. what does that kind of say just in terms of like what, what to expect in that match and just what that environment might be compared um, to maybe last year? Yeah, I think that our crowd can totally help us and they're super loud and last um, on Sunday during the game. I think that's the loudest that I've ever heard Devaney after we won that really long rally. So I think that the crowd can definitely help us change the momentum of the game and just encourage us and we feed off energy. We love to get excited and cheer one another on. So it's awesome playing gym like that. Other questions? Okay. Thank you.